What is up geeks? So we are back and we are going to do a full out review now trying to go over almost everything about the movie. We just saw Dawn of Justice. Yeah. So first let's go with Angelo. We're going to talk about it's some positive. It's almost 3 in the morning. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning here. Oh, actually, it's almost 3.30 in the morning. So. 3.30 in the morning on the east coast. <laughs> so you go first with some positive thoughts about the movie. Um, uh, let's see. I liked... I like that um, you got to explore Superman's um, vulnerability a little more. He's still um, questioning whether he's he's doing the right thing. So they continued from Man of Steel. wasn't, uh, oh, let's have Man of, Steel, Man of Steel and just leave it and do something completely different. So I like how the collateral damage emotionally stuck with him. I liked, um, I liked Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne. I thought it was... I thought it was flawless, actually. I have, I have no problems with it. Uh, I liked Wonder, Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot. I liked how they put her in here and there, but didn't give too much away from her. Didn't give too much um, information about her because it would have taken away from Ben and Henry because the movie's supposed to be about them. I liked Alfred. I thought he was quite badass. Was I liked his dry humor. I liked Lex. I think that was the... Um, the one character everyone was iffy about who were saying oh I love him I hate him but after this movie I um, I used to love to hate Lex Luthor and now I can say I love him I don't know why because I think him kind of being a um, having the superiority complex but it's still kind of nerdy and dorky I like that better than uh, a confident powerful well spoken man he just seems mm -hmm. less jerky because he's kind of nerdy if that makes sense true you know i'm not sure if that but i just like it better um oh yeah full review yeah i like what they did with doomsday i like the how he was able to adapt the damage i like the whole um dragon ball z <laughs> energy blast thing oh my god yeah that was pretty cool too i i like the batman versus superman fight i liked um how lois lane and superman's relationship developed uh, throughout the movie people complain that the Man of Steel romance between them was too shallow which I can see mm -hmm. but they really developed it and made it thorough definitely and um the cameos from Aquaman Cyborg Flash and then the Wonder Woman picture that was that was really cool that was awesome I was I was expecting Batman and Superman to be fighting and the people would say Oh, look, it's Batman. It would be Ezra Miller, <laughs> yeah. Cyborg, and Wonder Woman, and Aquaman on the street. Mm -hmm. Aquaman would like, poke his head out. Oh, they're fighting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I thought yeah. it would be something like that, but they gave them... Their cameos were a few minutes each, which mm -hmm. was very, very thorough, too. So from what you can see, Aquaman is already Aquaman. Um, Wonder Woman has retired and come back. Flash is... um. I think he's 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 newer. He looks like he's he's younger because his hair is long and he's in a hoodie and he just went super speed in front of a camera, which wasn't the smartest that thing wasn't to do. Smart, yeah. But I feel like he might have deleted the footage and then Lex Luthor just happened to recover it because he's Lex Luthor. I think that's totally plausible because I don't think Flash is that stupid. He's a cop. Mm -hmm. You're not that stupid. Cyborg too. Um, Cyborg is gonna be the newest guy. He looks like he's just about to become a hero. Yeah. So that's exciting too. Um, the visions are are interesting. I think maybe we'll see a, a Justice Lords kind of thing, or Injustice, or an Earth Two. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much a general overview. Yeah, I mean, uh, you touched on a lot of things that I like too. Just to expand on that, yeah, the Man of Steel romance, uh, as far as um, Lois Lane and Clark Kent, they did a really good job on that, and I actually felt a lot for their romance. Um, they did really well, I think, with, with Clark in general, and what he's going through, what he's suffering with. It, it's tough to be it's tough to be Superman. It's definitely a different kind of Superman that we're, that we're used to. Um, this Man of Steel Superman, this DCEU Superman, is a lot more burdened and it, it plays to the their advantage I think it works really well and um, oh yeah spoilers just in case um, you, you didn't catch the title of this video 
but uh yeah so superman dies and mm -hmm. i think that was a very bold move they did they did a lot of bold things in this movie mm -hmm. so i that's another thing that i liked killing off superman but then you know he's probably gonna be coming back anyway um what they did with wonder woman that was really ballsy too the fact that she came in mid-fight we did see that in the trailer but she really had a huge part in it too she's actually one of the major characters i thought she would just be in there for like a cameo so mm -hmm. them including the other justice league members that was great and they used like those those files that lex had something that angelo said yeah like i didn't i didn't think they would release it like that i thought they would be somewhere out in the world doing their thing and then we'd find them but i think it actually made more sense with them doing it this way it, it kind of fit with the story better so i think as far as the story you know i was presently surprised because you know with the critics saying that the story wasn't you know hashed out the way that it actually was i think that was totally um you know, it was totally wrong the, the story was there the action was there overall very good so um i guess next we'll we'll tackle things that you know we can you know say maybe they could have improved upon maybe they 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 totally missed so i don't know if there's anything you can think of right at the top of your head we can just go back and forth with this one. Oh yeah um, um i think for me the thing that sticks out is the the beginning uh the the flashback to um, Bruce Wayne's parents getting shot to Metropolis to modern day. I thought the um, transitioning was kind of awkward. Mm. Um, I mean, we we know that um, Bruce Wayne's you know parents are shot. I mean, most people know Batman's <coughs> backstory. There's been so many movies, mm -hmm. so putting that in the beginning, um, I guess later on to emphasize the whole um, Martha thing that. <laughs> Both Martha Kent and Martha Wayne have the same name, and that mm -hmm. stopped Batman from killing Superman. Uh, I, I read a review online where somebody said, "Oh, that was obvious. They were doing. They really? mentioned the Mar Martha thing early, mm -hmm. so later on, you know that they'd be connected because they say she had the same name." I thought, "No, not really. I mean, that's such a small thing. I didn't realize they shared the same name. I don't think yeah. that's true." But um, again, the I feel like. Jumping from that to the flashback in Metropolis, I don't think that was the best way to go about it because we already know what happened and putting that in the beginning sets the tone. So I think that if we went from that flashback to modern day and then had the flashback in Metropolis somewhere in the middle, mm -hmm. I think that would have been better because we already know um, Bruce Wayne saw it. I don't think it was a big deal to put it in the beginning um, so that's one thing. It's, again, very small. I just my thoughts on it are just extensive. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of agree with that too. The the flashbacks were kind of, you know, I I only question the flashbacks because, like, um, we see that Bruce Wayne is you know in his 40s and it seems like these flashbacks are haunting him day to day of course that could just be part of his character we know batman <clears throat> he's driven by that memory it, it's a huge tragedy in his yeah. life i guess the fact they didn't they didn't really you know we didn't have a solo batman film to really know about this new batman oh, it was yeah, kind of true. it was kind of um like it's like wow these flashbacks are really like out of nowhere but you know they kind of made it make sense with the martha thing so mm -hmm. they made up for it in the end. Uh, another thing that kind of bothered me, but was kind of something that they couldn't help but do, was the fact that there was so much in the story that it was like, it was hard to even catch a breath at times. Like there were so many great scenes, even mm -hmm. the ones that are not action, that were so up-tempo, that was so fast-paced, that there weren't any quiet scenes until the very end when you have, you know, the Superman death scene. That's when I felt like I could really exhale oh, and yeah, maybe yeah. that was really what they wanted to do but at the same time you know it's a two and a half an hour a two and a half an hour movie and it was like just non-stop non-stop um very different from man of steel man of steel there were moments to breathe in between the action so the pacing i think was different not necessarily better than man of steel um man of steel's pacing felt a little bit more natural because it would seem like um more of your typical movie rather than this one this was not your typical movie so maybe that was one of the things the critics couldn't get um it, it really felt different it did. on my end it did. 
So not necessarily negative. It just, it kind of, it was something that I had to get used to, you know. I mean, though, I, I think those were mainly the most, uh, you know, mm -hmm. jarring things. The whole Batman killing thing was something we discussed too after the movie. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like um, Batman would rather not kill, but if a situation can't help it, he doesn't. Uh, he's he's um weathered and wary to the point where he doesn't mind a casualty because it's implied by the movie that he experienced a heavy one before. Yeah. So uh, like what he did with um. I'm sure some people were were burned <laughs> when he shot at them from the Batwing, and I'm sure that guy with the flamethrower who's trying to kill Martha Kent. Oh, he's dead. Is, was a <laughs> that guy is dead. Incinerated. <laughs> no, he he comes back for the next movie. He's the main villain. He's the Zack main villain. Zack Snyder no. decides to make a new villain. <laughs> Imagine if you know it would be interesting if he was Firefly, but I know he's not uh -huh. because there's a prequel comic. I'm not sure if you you read that. Oh, I know. There's yeah, the Batman v Superman prequel. Yeah, comics. the Firefly's in there. Yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, jokes aside, uh. Yeah, that just reminds yeah. me. There's so many great things in this. There's so many things in this movie that we could talk about. I mean, we could make this movie an hour. I mean, this review an hour if we if we could. Mm -hmm. um, that dream sequence too. That just reminded me of that dream sequence with those flying um, looking things. Are are those the? They look like Dark Side's minions. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. What, that's what people are are talking about. And I think it's a possible future. A possible future. We yeah. we we in Justice League Part One will probably we're going to find out why why Bruce Wayne is having these visions and not anybody else. Yeah. And we're going to figure out who Lex Luthor is talking about at the end. Oh, mm -hmm. he's coming. He's coming. Um, There's a lot of things that need to be unfolded. And I think that's mm -hmm. why this movie is a little bit confusing, especially with that Flash scene. It was awesome, but... Oh, yeah, when he when he had the... He was in the chair in the back cave, and yeah. then Flash just came to him. Something that we might not really uh, learn about until the future movies, um, you know, why that even happened and how that's going to unfold. So a lot of these questions that we have might be answered in the future. And this, you know, all these, a lot of times this happens with the first movie of a franchise or the first movie in a, of a <clears throat> universe. And this is really the first movie to really establish the universe. Man mm -hmm. of Steel set the foundation, but this is really the one that's starting the pace of it all so um, exactly oh another thing we didn't talk about is that i am i'm quite happy with um how lex was able to manipulate everybody yeah he was very skilled and i like how batman mm -hmm. and superman didn't fight just because they were mad at each other but because mm -hmm. superman was pushed into a corner and yes. batman felt like he was pushed into a corner too mm -hmm. but more so on superman's side it wasn't like i don't like you let's fight it's I need to save my mom. Batman, listen. Bang. Batman, listen to me. Okay, bang. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was it was um it was very well orchestrated. I and like that a Doomsday lot. was a backup plan. Mm hmm Doomsday was a backup plan. He wouldn't he uh, wouldn't have turned him on if Superman I mean, if Superman um actually went through with killing Batman. Mm -hmm. So it's it is um again, yeah. Jesse I Eisenberg. That's a good point because I just thought about that now. That's really good. When I was watching these teaser trailers, you know, I just knew this fight was going to happen. Um, it's expected. It's happened in Dark Knight Returns. The The motives here are actually... I, I actually feel like it's better than what happened in Dark Knight Returns because I was just assuming, okay, the government just wants to have, take control of yeah. Bruce, of, of Batman. And so, you know, they, they have Superman who's like their watchdog. That was not complete. That was not even close to what happened in the movie, you know. Like, mm -hmm. it was really three factions. You had the government, you had Batman and, and Superman who were all on opposite sides. So, you know, I was wrong about that. And here we go again with Superman being pushed into a corner. Hopefully, we don't have to do this constantly with him because we know in Man of Steel, he was pushed into the corner of killing Zod. And here we go again, having to kill Batman. He didn't end up having to, but um, we always put him in these in these situations where he has no choice. And, you know, that that's really tough on his part. But, yeah, so, like, overall, um, if you want to give it a score, you can out of 10 and... You know your closing thoughts on on uh, Dawn of Justice. Hmm. I think <clears throat> I think I would give it um, give it a seven seven point five out of ten. Um, 
I, I can see why people would think it's it's cluttered. Um, I guess if I would, were to critique it, maybe the pacing, there wasn't a lot of times to breathe. But let's say um, 7.5. I w actually, I'll, I'll give it an 8. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need out of 10 because 7.5 right. is a C. C is <laughs> average. So I would give it an 8, which is a B, which is good. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like there are a lot of risks for this movie. And the, um, the critic review was is that um, Man of Steel, I mean, Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman has a potentially powerful storyline. But it is overwhelmed by... Um, a whirlwind of grim effects driven action mm -hmm. which i think is is wrong because the story and the action work together it was just really fast paced um like i told you before i was waiting when i was watching the movie to just see it tank yeah i was scared for the first half that's why i want to see it again mm -hmm. because the first half i was just like sitting in my chair just waiting for it to okay it's gonna suck here it's gonna suck here but it wasn't sucking i realized no like the critics are wrong it's a fast-paced movie with a lot of action but at the same time the story is very much there from tracing the bullet to lois lane investigating to why wonder woman has a bone to pick with lex luther it's all well explained i don't think it suffers from plot issues i think we need to we need to see we need to wait to see more about what Bruce Wayne's visions are. Or, excuse me, what Lex Luthor is talking about. The other cameos of the Justice League to see. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. But it was good. Nice. It was a good movie. 8 good out of 10, movie. that's pretty good, man. Yeah, eight that's out of very good. Ten. I would say right now, it is it is subject to change. Mm -hmm. I think for now, I will go with a 7.5. Um just because like there were so many things in there i definitely i feel like you know after you watch a movie you're very excited about it so mm -hmm. i think i need some time to chill and then <clears throat> watch it again like i usually do and we'll see from there how where it goes um the best thing i can do i guess is to compare it to the other batman and superman movies as far mm -hmm. as man of steel it's this very different movie i think it's just on par with it right now and i i would give man of steel 7.5 as well just because they're so different and i enjoyed man of steel a lot mm -hmm. um there were a lot of there was a lot of fan service in this movie which isn't a bad thing it was great and i think that was like the the moments i enjoyed the most mm -hmm. and so yeah i'm very excited to see it again there were so many moments that i really need to analyze over especially this the flash scene so yeah i'm very excited and you know if anything I'm, my score will probably go even higher the more that i see this movie just to see how i can you know get more things from it so yeah so uh that's basically it uh thank you guys for watching our review if you if you want to see angelo in more videos please give this video a big <laughs> thumbs up and i'll have a poll question at the end of this video so mm -hmm. youtube has this new feature where you can add yeah. a poll question at the end of each video and okay. so the poll question for this video if you have seen batman vs superman what um what score would you give it I'll, I'll have all you know the numbers there from one to ten and we'll see what you guys score this movie as so until next time embrace express and enjoy yourself may the force be with you always my young padawan till next time uh eat your vegetables and don't forget to floss yeah have a good one <laughs>